Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I want to uh, review a software called IP Vanish. So what this is, is this is a VPN um, software. And VPN basically means virtual private network. So what that does is it pretty much makes you anonymous online. So uh, let me get to the software right here. Let me pop up the website. Um, just explains a little bit more about what a VPN is. It does a couple things. Um, it blocks <laughs> basically people from knowing what your IP address is. And they can do a bunch of different things, like advertise with your IP address to you. They can be, um, do advertising based off your IP address. Um, there's a lot of hackers that can come after you with your IP address. Um, the government, of course, uh, wants to know your IP address. So what this does is it changes your IP address or hides it and masks it. Um, another reason why you might want to do this is if you do business um, kind of work, then, you know, basically by putting it through VPN, it becomes more secure because it's not going through your home or office network, especially if you're traveling. The VPN is very important uh, because there's something called a honeypot, which you can grab data. So that's a little bit technical. But um, another thing that the reason why you might want a VPN is someone like if you have Verizon or Cox, they actually monitor your downloads, your internet provider monitors your downloads. So depending on what you're downloading, let's like say it's a movie or something that they don't want you to download, they can actually slow down your internet or kill your internet based on that. And oftentimes it's um, kids in your family who are doing it, you're, you're not even aware of it, but something or a friend comes over, downloads something, next thing you know, you're getting a uh, uh, alert and email saying that you know something was downloaded that, that you know uh, shouldn't have been and uh, you could possibly lose your internet off that. So there's a couple different reasons uh, why you should have a VPN. Um, so then it becomes you know if, if you feel that you do need a VPN, um, which one should you go with? And I'm giving this one here a shot. A uh, couple different reasons. One is the speed is very good. So right now I'm not connected to the VPN as you can see. It's not secure. I'm not connected. This is just my standard IP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to speedtest.net. And as you can see, this is coming up files is what I have, standard uh, speed. So let's do begin a test. And so we, you don't want a VPN to slow down your internet connection, which generally will slow down a little bit because you're tunneling through somebody else's um, uh, network. So you're going to slow it down a slight bit, but the, the lowest you could slow it down would be better. So I'm going to do a speed test before we connect the VPN and another one after. Um, and then we'll kind of see that speed. Another thing that, while well, this is testing here, that of course is important, is pricing. Um, this is very reasonable. This is pretty much in line with all their VPN services. So that's good. Uh, you might want to just try it for a month. If you're not really too comfortable with it, give it a try for a month. If you like it, then do the year upgrade price because uh, the year price is much more reasonable. Um, while this is scanning, another thing we want to look for is logs. Um, basically, if, if like the government or something came down onto this company and asked for their logs, as you can see, they have zero traffic logs, so they delete all their logs immediately. Security, 256-bit encryption, that's the same that banks use. Um, you can connect two simultaneous devices. That's pretty nice if you have your computer, maybe you want to connect, and a phone. Um, a phone is something that I would recommend connect with a VPN. Again, if you're traveling, you connect to a hotel Wi-Fi. Somebody on that network could actually monitor what websites you want to, maybe even monitor your email going in and out if it's not secured. So um, that's actually another reason I, I forgot about a VPN is, is email. So uh, it's getting a 58 down, 65 up. Let's connect it to the VPN. So all we have to do is press this connect button. And it connects these, um, and every time this uh, software powers on, it goes out and grabs a bunch of different new IP addresses, and it's usually over 100. So basically, now it's connected here in Maryland. I have a new IP address, so you can see the old IP address here. If I refresh this page, you should see that bottom number change. And as you can see now, so this website is verified that basically we're connected, um, not. Um, not with my old IP address, but this is a third-party so, um, web server saying, hey, this guy actually has this IP address. So this pretty much verifies it works. Um, so let's see what this, this speed test comes back at now. We'll let that run for a minute or two. 
Um, so another thing that you, you that is neat is that you can actually pay with Bitcoin. So if you pay with credit card, of course your information has to be put in name, address, stuff like that. Um, a more anonymous way to do it would be PayPal, but that's still kind of at, at some point shows your email and things like that. And the, the super anonymous way to do it would be Bitcoin. So if you want to get really kind of paranoid um, tinfoil hat, you can you can pay by Bitcoin. Um, as far as the apps that supports, I've only tried the Windows app. Um, I have not yet tried the Mac or the OS, but I definitely want to give that a shot. It is kind of neat that you can do a full router. You have to have these specific routers, but you could actually put a VPN on the entire router so everything in your network is secured. I think it's a little overkill, but it's kind of neat that you could do that. And it has a overall support for Ubuntu, uh, Chromebook, Android, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. So we did the test. The download speed is almost right there, uh, 54 down and 58 upload. So that's that's right on cue. Um, another thing that we want to test is I mentioned torrents. Um, let's try to just download a, a test Ubuntu torrent. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. We'll do Ubuntu here. Download this torrent. And let's see the speeds that this downloads at. Because uh, um, torrenting is something that can really slow down as well with VPNs. So that's something that you know, if you do torrent. Now, when you torrent, you're not going to have to do anything special with the software because your whole um, computer is under the VPN, so there's nothing like a proxy. You don't have to go to preferences, set up anything special in here. You basically, it's already set up. So as long as you have this software running, connected, down here, secured, you'll see it being connected, you're going to be good. Um, you can actually select different options here, which is cool depending if you're, you want the fastest server, maybe you want something in Europe. Um, you can see a list of the different servers like closest to you and looking at their ping rates, the less is better. And then you can look at a map of all different options of uh, IP addresses and stuff we have. So you can see the download speed right now, it's pretty fast. Um, it's about five megabytes a second. That's gonna go up slightly as time goes on up and down. But for torrenting, that's gonna get most of your files done real quick. Um, as you can see, it's speeding up as time goes on because it's caching more seeds and things like that. So I'm very happy with that uh, speed uh, as far as torrenting. So the one, let's see, the only downside is that after testing this for maybe a week or two, um, if you do use an IP phone, um, I did have one time that it disconnected. It could have been just that the IP address was changing. Uh, once in a while, this IP address will change. You can set up to change every 60 minutes and things like that. But that might have been the reason that I lost that VoIP phone connection. So that's one thing to, to just think about is if you use VoIP phones and you have this enabled and you have the IP address change, you might lose that connection. Um, but all in all, I like this software. I'm going to put a link to how you can so sign up. Um, for the software in my notes. Uh, just give it a link down there. Um, you can also visit uh, reviewoutlaw.com and uh, kind of see more information about the software there. I'm going to post a couple of pictures and a little bit more data on the software. Um, but I do recommend you give this, this software a try. It's, it's one of the easier software, VPN softwares that I've tried. I've tried uh, a good amount of them, and a lot of them are pretty difficult to set up. You have a lot, a lot of configuration settings, download third parties VPN software, and by the time you get it all set up, you're just exhausted. <laughs> but with this, you just have kind of a one click download, username, password, boom, you're in here and you're surfing um, safely. So hopefully that answers any questions. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you get time, uh, subscribe. All right, thank you.